Are you a fan of Gav's Patisserie? Do you want to see us become more than just a stay-at-home travesty? My fans, you truly do have the power to help evolve my business. How could you hold such power, you ask? Follow my business on any of the following social media platforms. Whenever you see one of my posts or content uploaded for your enjoyment, just don't like it. Share it! By sharing it, you'll be exposing my business to a brand new audience. By getting involved in my business in this way, you'll be helping me on a level that I could never repay you. Fans of a small business like mine are the biggest asset to have. And I'm just going to thank you right now for taking your time to like and to share and to watch my content. Have a good day and enjoy the upcoming video. Need just two cake boards, your buttercream, you probably can't really see it, but this is the one we made yesterday. It's a little bit soft, we didn't really have enough icing sugar, but like I said, if you want it stiffer than that, just add a bit more icing sugar. This is another one we made not long ago, you can see that it's got a bit more stiffness to it. That's what happens when you've got the right amount of sugar. So this one probably needed another cup, probably another cup of sugar, but it will still work. We've got our ganache here. As you can see, it's been covered as it's completely cooled. That way you've got no condensation happening there and no water going into your chocolate. Okay, and then the last thing you'll need is a turntable. If you don't have one, you can probably just do it on the chopping board. But turntable makes everything easier. If you're going to, just going to have this as a dessert cake, you don't really need to trim the top off. You just keep it as is. But since we want to make it look a little bit more presentable, what we're going to do is we're going to level the top off. Now, if you're not too confident with just doing it by your hands, what you can do is you get a ruler and toothpicks. And what you want to do is you put... You measure up, you put your toothpicks in, and then you just use your knife and the toothpicks as a guide. But we do not know where our ruler is, so we're just going to go with freehand. And we just want to keep a steady hand, keep a straight knife. Don't want to tilt your knife. Okay, so now you've got your cake leveled. Now what you want to do is you want to do the same two more times. So we got like two more layers of buttercream going to go in the middle here. So you can measure it if you want. That way you get. cake equally leveled but we're just going to do it by hand just quicker okay just keep your turntable still keep your cake there we're just going to put one layer of buttercream in first it's important to do this not to turn the cake so you can put the cake back on top the same way that you took it off. goes into the fridge and sticks all the crumbs. 
so then you can finish it off nicely. I'm just going to go around with this buttercream. You can see the crumbs all coming into the buttercream there. I just want to level up. Alright, just lightly dampen a bit of paper towel. Just want to clean around your chopping board, or not chopping board, cake board. You probably could use it as a chopping board. Alright, and then just put that in the fridge. Probably want about 20 minutes just to set it. Now for some strange reason, I would missed the icing of the second layer for some strange reason. It just didn't record. For some strange reason, the GoPro decided to go into surveillance mode instead and recorded about 30 minutes of nothing. It did, however, catch this nice little moment of the family and also a very eager cake thief. the last step of finishing off this mud cake you can see it's very rustic like it's not a very professional finish but you know you get the idea basically it's just a simple dessert cake basically so you've got your buttercream on there so now we've just got our ganache into a microwave bowl here and we're just going to warm that up in the microwave 10 seconds and then give it a stir and it should be fine to use. So it's taken a minute in the microwave to get it back to its nice running consistency there. Just make sure you're always doing intervals though, you're not just microwaving it for one whole minute. Now you can see that the cake is on a tray with a cake tray there, or well, cooling tray there, just to catch any runoff. Alright, so 
So now we're just going to give this a nice little bit of ganache cover. It's only a little bit. Hopefully you can see it there. We just pour into the middle. Alright, so the cake is cold, so you're going to have to work quick. Okay, as soon as you've got enough on there, you just want to bring it to your edges. And work your ganache over the side. Okay, we're not going to go for... Right, and you'll end up getting some bubbles in the top of your ganache. That is totally fine there. To get rid of them, just... Give it a tap. If you still can't get rid of them, grab a toothpick. And you just want to poke where the bubble is. Once you've got it looking the way you like it, yeah, you need to put it in the fridge. Keep it on your tray and everything because it's a little bit hard to clean with your ganache not set yet. And if you're not happy with how the trickle is down the side, what you can do is you can put some ganache onto your tip of your palette knife here and you just want to drizzle it down like so if you haven't got got it the way you like it yeah you can serve your cake however you like you can put some ice cream on there put some cream whatever you feel like it's up to you. Here, yeah, no fancy decorating here. We'll get onto that. But yes, it's been a struggle to get to this far. Battling with the hot ass conditions of this country called Australia. Great country, but hot. And no air conditioning makes it hard to decorate cakes. But there you have it. At least you can actually cook a cake that looks good. Well that's it for another video, if you want me to go and annoy somebody else, you know what to do. And until next time, don't go burning down your kitchen.